After opening a file using the open function, it is always recommended to close that file in order to avoid any issues related to operating system processes. As we've seen so far, Python provides the close method for closing files. After closing a file, you cannot use it anymore for reading or writing. You are required to open the file again to be able to do any of these operations. You can also use a file object attribute to check if a file is closed. Let's see this. We still have the new file.txt from the previous lecture, which is already closed. So let's go in the Python interpreter shell and type in new file dot closed. New file is the file object name we created to open and write this to this file. So Python returns true if the file is indeed closed. Otherwise, it returns false. Another way to close a file is using the with statement. This was introduced in Python version 2.5. Using this statement, you don't have to worry about closing a file manually with the close method. Instead, the file is closed automatically. Also, the with method creates a new file object and a new file if you use the waccess method. Let's see how this works. I will write the code and then explain it. So with open python txt w for writing as f a colon then an indented block f dot write let's say hello python on the backslash n okay so first I use the with keyword followed by the open function which is used in the same way as before then the as keyword and then the file object name f in our case the as keyword acts like an assignment operator for the file object after typing the file object name I typed a colon like we did for if statements or functions and then indented one level from the with statement you type the code to be executed in our case I wanted to write a string to the file and that's it now let's check two things here first if the string was written to the file and second that the file was automatically closed so let's go to the Linux terminal and use the cat command so cat python dot txt hello python good the string is there now back to the python interpreter let's see f you see here that f is indeed a closed file let's also use the close method so f dot close sorry f dot closed okay and this returns true so the file was indeed closed without us having to do it manually keep this method in mind